Police say they're investigating a robbery pattern in Morningside Park. This news coming just one week after a Barnard College freshman was brutally murdered in that park. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCowan is live in Morningside Heights. Candace. Well, Ken, investigators are looking for the public's help as they try and track down these suspects that robbed two people within an hour. And this pointing to a possible crime pattern in and around Morningside Park where Tessa Majors was robbed and killed, like you said, just a week ago. Now, we have video from police uh, of the two men they want to find from robberies happening 10 days before Tessa's murder. In one case, two suspects approached a delivery guy who was making a delivery on 118th Street near the park. The men with a knife and pretending to have a gun robbing that delivery guy of cash, a cell phone and a scooter. That robbery was preceded by another just minutes earlier in the dog park actually inside Morningside Park. In that case, one suspect approached the victim attempting to open a pocket knife. The victim punched that suspect and ran for the stairs, but falling down the stairs and that's where he was injured. Now, investigators are making it clear that these robberies are not connected to the death of 18 year old Bernard College first year student Tessa Majors. They also uh, she also ran for the stairs after she was robbed. Uh, and stabbed in an attempt to also find help. Now, one of the reasons the victims might be running for stairs is that there are guard booths at 116th Street and 122nd Street, which Columbia now says that they will now be staffing 24-7. NYPD adding more officers to patrol this park and more lighting is also planned, but uh, you already see those officers that have been in and around this park ever since Majors was killed. One of those robberies happening at 440 in the afternoon before it was even dark out here, so a lot of people with concerns about stopping the crime in this area.